Ava and Nicholas Zimmer said their mother was a woman named Dory Zimmer. She died a few years ago. No one seems to know her or remember her. And the father? There isn't one, at least not one that they know. What does, uh, what does social services say? You didn't report them. I report them. I can't help them. They go into the system. The system that's supposed to help. Yeah, says the woman who wasn't in it for 16 years. Do you know what happens? They get thrown into homes where they are a meal ticket. Nothing more. These families get paid for these kids, and as soon as they're too much work, they get tossed out, and it all starts over again. But they're not all like that. All the ones I was in. But we're just gonna talk to them. I wanna look for their father. They don't know him. He may not know they exist. And you think if he knows, he'll want them? I don't know. But what I do know is it's hard enough finding foster families to take one kid that isn't theirs, let alone two. It's their best shot, or... We're gonna be separated. No. That's not gonna happen. I've contacted social services. Turns out these kids are on their own. They need help. Which is exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find their father. Well, he doesn't exist. He has to. Well, of course, biologically, he exists. But there's no record of him. Which means we have no choice. These children need a home, so they will be put into the foster system. Storybrook has a foster system? No, but I've contacted the state. Maine's group homes, unfortunately, are filled, but they put us in touch with two homes in Boston. A boys' home and a girls'. They're separating them? I don't like it either. But we've got no choice. You need to have them in Boston tonight. Me? Well, you wanted to be sheriff. This is what sheriffs do. Yes, you're taking them. No. I promised them they wouldn't be separated. Well, then perhaps you should stop making promises you can't keep. These children need a home. I'm just trying to find the best one. What is that? My father's compass. He gave it to me so I could find him. But now it's broken. When are you going to tell us where we're going? This is close enough. Close enough to what? The home of the blind witch. That doesn't sound good. She has something of mine. And I need you to get it back. What is it? Something I need to defeat a very wicked and powerful enemy. It's kept in a black leather satchel inside her house. Well, why don't you get it yourself? How come you need us? Because the house is protected by magic. I can't enter. But luckily, the spell doesn't work on children. What can I do for you, Sheriff? I'm looking for information on this old compass. Any idea where it could have come from? Oh, wow. Look at the detail. You know this is crystal. This jeweled setting. And despite the rather unfortunate shape it's in, this is actually a very unusual piece person who owned this obviously had great taste. And where would someone like that buy it? Right here, of course. You know it? Indeed. A piece like this is difficult to forget. Do you happen to remember who bought it? <laughs> well, I'm good with names, Miss Swan, but maybe not that good. However, as luck would have it, I do keep quite extensive records. Yes. Here we are. What's your price? Forgiveness. How about tolerance? Well, that's a start. 